my father was in the uh, military and he had he was in the transportation corps and he had a ship down in uh, Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia. And I called him up and I said, hey, Dad, I said, you know, I, I think I want to study art. And uh, do you have any guys on your, on your ship from New York? And if you do, wh where, where's the best place to study? Well, Pratt was what they told him. We did have a couple of guys. So I couldn't get into Pratt. Um, you know, my grades were not good. So I had to go to a, a, a junior college for a year and keep a B plus Pratt um, um, you know, grades. And I finally got into Pratt. <clears throat> I studied industrial design. They didn't teach graphic design at this point, and not that I really knew what it was. Um, but I went to a student program uh, that Pratt had for students all over the country at General Motors um, in, in um, their new uh, technical center. And that red arrow um, is where, where, where we had our, um, our offices. And I met, I met a lot of students from uh, all over the country. And then after, after the uh, experience, I was hired by General Motors. And I designed the, um, the Delco symbol for all of their parts. And this is where my industrial design background really became important because not only was it a package design, but it was a system of packages. And it had to accommodate um, 1,200 different packaged, 1,200 different products. And I won't go into detail with this, but I, I have to say it was a great first experience as a first job. I had to go into the military after that. I really didn't want to go back to General Motors. I wanted to uh, have, you know, uh, experience in more diverse design experiences and with smaller um, firms. But when I was in the military, I, I did a lot of work with mapping, and I had no idea that I was going to get something valuable out of the military, but I did. I learned quite a bit about mapping. When I finally got out, I went uh, to, I stayed in Detroit, actually, and I worked with William Schmidt Associates, and uh, they had an account with the Department of Commerce to develop a trade fair in Yugoslavia, the American Pavilion at the trade fair. And I was hired to do the graphics for that, now this was really important as far as applying my industrial design uh, knowledge of space and form to uh, a branding system. The, the theme of the show is constructive use of, of leisure time. So uh, I developed an hourglass with the sun and moon, nighttime, daytime activity, and suggested that we make the entrance to the uh, fair out of it, and we did. And uh, this was really the first you know, I never really uh, had any experience doing this type of thing, but I realized very quickly that uh, graphic ideas could be transformed into space, or actually could be spatial ideas themselves. I came back to New York and worked with George Nelson um, after that experience, and I worked on the, uh, the Chrysler World's Fair Pavilion at the World's Fair in New York. And uh, basically it was this is their model uh, that got the job with Chrysler, and it, has, it was, a, it was a, an artificial lake with five islands, basically. And uh, I developed, it was four children, I developed a, uh, a pin for the kids to wear. It was a pointing hand that said VIP, and uh, the pointing hand device was a natural as far as doing things that was necessary to get people around to the different parts of the pavilion uh, on the five islands. So I did a, um, a study of directional signage. So this is probably some of my, it actually it was my first wayfinding experience. Part of this experience also included, because it was for children, I thought it was a good idea to uh, develop a series of safety posters. I knew, I knew all the factory stuff that you had to be careful with. So uh, I developed this little character and then put him through experiences or things that, you, you, uh, you really had to watch your step in factories about. <laughs> and then after the fair, George uh, had Howard Miller um, develop it as a safety poster system. So, uh, you know, people like DuPont had them in their factories. So my whole experience of factory kind of came around full circle. And I had worked on other projects with George, and uh, it was during that period that I met an architect, um, Eduardo Terrazas, who had been working on the Mexican Pavilion at the New York World's Fair. 
he came over and joined the office and we became friends. And it was through him that I found that they were going to have a competition in Mexico uh, to do the graphics. And um, they, had, they had two ideas. They were, going to, they were going to call in top offices and have them make proposals. And they were going to have designers uh, go down on an individual basis and spend a two-week period. And, uh, you know, if anything happened, great. If it didn't, you went back home.